I've been waiting a year to see this mountain. Climb that mountain! Yeah! There we go. 4.59, we are off one minute early. It is almost 7 a.m. And it is so foggy. We are like actually at the base of the mountain. We cannot see it at all. Check this out. We're hoping this fog clears out, but we are in Mount Rainier National Park. We got a tiny bit of blue sky up there. My buddy Garrett here was saying it's kind of like lingerie. How? Oh, <laughs> wait a second. Oh, wait, was, was that, that. Garrett or was that me? I don't, one of us. It's hard to remember who. You gotta use your imagination. You know it's there somewhere, but you gotta wait. All right, look at this. Hang on. Do you see that? Where, how do I turn this exposure right? Peeking through right there. Oh my gosh. That. Oh, look at that. That's like some leg. <laughs> Check out that. Oh my gosh. That is so beautiful. There it is. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You can't get a it scope of how big it is, lines. but it goes all the way down there. Oh my gosh. There it is. Oh. Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh, we are right here. Where we're gonna be hiking today is all up the Muir Snowfield and Camp Muir is right there at that point where the snow touches, goes through that rock right up at the top there. That's where we're gonna be camping tonight. Okay, we are up at 5,000 feet and you can see the mountain and we just got through the hard part. We just got our permit, which I was a little bit nervous about with the kids, even though I called ahead of time and that they said it shouldn't be a problem. I had the kids kind of wait outside so the ranger didn't see him, but he still <laughs> kind of saw them and he didn't seem to bat an eye. Five years since I put these boots on. <laughs> Five years? Yeah. We are all packed up. As you can see, the mountain's like pretty temperamental. So now we could see it just a few seconds ago. Now we can't see it. It's all covered in by fog. The weather's completely different up here. The kids are ready. We got our bags packed up and situated. We got our boots on. Feeling pretty good. We are at 54,000 feet summit of the mountain up there is 14,411 feet, which means we have about 10,000 feet straight up, which is about two miles in ice and snow. So we're hoping to do that in the next 36 hours. Well, you can see it. I feel good. <laughs> Dude. Dude, I feel like- I feel I good feel now. Like, I feel like 10 bucks. <laughs> wow. Hey, 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 get out. That's 
a rock marmot. Kind of crazy walking on snow in August, but most of our climb for the rest of the day and tomorrow is all going to be on snow and ice. You can see Mount Adams right there. And then Mount St. Helens right there. We are officially off trail here, but This is where it starts to get a little crazy from here. Ugh. Ugh. We've been walking up snow steps for like the past 30 minutes or something. And um, we're gonna have lunch up at that clump of rocks. So it's nice to have a destination to go to, so we're kind of faster. <laughs> Is that harder or easier than you guys thought? Easier right now. How are you feeling? Fine. Except for the uphill. <laughs> <laughs> Which is everything. <laughs> We are rocking a lunch break right now. Got these sandwiches that Cammy made. Man, a sandwich? Money! <laughs> Has never tasted so good. How you doing, Simon? Good. Just enjoying the view. Check out, those are the clouds right there. So if you're like just sitting there waking up, living your life, you look up at the clouds, we're like above them. That's what's so cool about that. Uh, you know, it seems like it's just fog, but those are the clouds people see from below. We had an incredible lunch. I'm already out of breath. We're starting up the Muir snowfield now. We got 2,000 feet straight up this snow. It's kind of a slog. We changed our clothes a little bit and we're in long sleeves and a hat and sunglasses just because the sun is so intense here. And you get sunburn in places you wouldn't imagine. Under your nose, your lips, behind your knees. Because it reflects off the snow like crazy. So those are the kids up there. They're doing good. I think we're gonna make it. I'm actually really proud of them. I think the training really uh, paid off. We are just trudging right now. It's just step after step. It's actually really hot out here. The sun's just like beating down on us. I put snow in my hat just to cool off. But we got this view here. Oh, it's so beautiful in the air. Oh my gosh. Camp Muir. It's right up there. There's a little brown hut. I can't tell because it's so bright out here. This way. 
I think it's right there. <laughs> but we're almost there. We did it. Good job, guys. Maybe 500 feet left to go. We just made it to Camp Muir. 10,100 feet. Good work. Good work. Ugh. Good work. You feel that? How you guys feel? Great. I feel like I just climbed 10,500 feet. <laughs> How you feel? I feel great. <laughs> it is 3.20 and we are so tired. We're gonna try and catch a little nap before dinner here because we're not gonna get much sleep tonight. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Are you tired? Yeah. It is 6 p.m. We got a pretty good nap and the kids are still sleeping right now, which is great. Man, I was so proud of them today. They did a pretty good job. Pretty impressed. That's a hard climb. I'm letting them sleep right now because tomorrow we're supposed to wake up at midnight. Well, today, I don't know. <laughs> and leave at 1 a.m. for the summit. There's a trail that goes up and we're gonna go over that big rocky thing. That's what we're starting off at 1 a.m. We're gonna be wearing headlamps. Tomorrow's gonna be a hard day. I wanted to say hi to Justin, Eric, and Mark, and all the other climbing partners I've had on this mountain. I miss you guys up here. It's beautiful, as you know. I wish you were up here, and I uh, hope to climb again with you guys sometime soon. But it's um, wonderful being up here with my kids, sharing these memories. So far, what we've seen of the mountain is not even the beautiful part. Tomorrow at sunrise, Climbing up high, that's the most beautiful stuff I've ever seen in my entire life. It's hard though, really hard. I'm a little bit nervous for tomorrow. We just have a long, long day ahead of us. Whew. Tonight, our goal is to cook dinner, which is easier said than done. You have to melt the snow to get the water, that takes a while. Even like moving, mo it takes a lot of motivation just because there's so little oxygen up here. And we're gonna test out some of our gear. I'm gonna have the kids put the crampons on. Besides that, we're gonna try and go to bed by, I don't know, eight. Is that possible? Maybe eight. Try and get four hours of sleep. See you guys tomorrow on the climbing day. I hope you're able to just capture some of what goes on up here. It's really hard to communicate it. But I'm so glad that I have a daily vlog of stuff that at least I have a way to show you guys a little bit and share this part of our lives with us. Have a good night. There's the edge of it, right? Uh, disappeared. <laughs> it disappeared. She's so naughty. <laughs>